I'm Diane Mizoda, mom of a nine-year-old boy, and I went to see Power Rangers without my son. Now, he saw the trailer, thought it looked too scary, and told me he didn't want to go. So I'm really glad I listened. This Power Rangers is all grown up, and here's my bottom line. Positive themes, this gets a five. True to the original, Power Rangers are all about teamwork and working together to save the world. It's also about becoming who you really want to be and not just what other people expect you to. Violence and Scare Factor, this gets a four. Rita Repulsa, the witch played deliciously by Elizabeth Banks, gives her share of jump scares, including pulling out a man's teeth to make Goldar, her gold monster, coming back from the dead and killing cops. This movie is definitely more adult in tone and style, and that includes car chases, gunfights, and CG putties that are definitely more menacing than just guys in gray unitards with masks. Sex and Romance, this gets a two. There's a little bit of a flirtation between the Yellow Ranger and the Black Ranger, but it's pretty minimal. Bad language, this gets a two. There's an S word, a couple A words, and almost an MF, but considering the level of realism they're going for with teens, it's pretty tame. Drinking, drugs, and smoking, none that I can recall. Gone are the campy, brightly colored, lo-fi Power Rangers of our youth, and in their place are angsty teens with real problems, glossy effects, and a super big production budget. This movie is an origin story. Five teens meet in detention, kind of breakfast club style. Then they happen upon the power coins, they meet Zordon, and they turn into Transformers. No, they don't turn into Transformers. <laughs> they transform into Power Rangers and they must work together to save the world. Rated PG-13, I cannot stress enough that this movie is not for the little ones. I am so glad I did not bring my son. Not just because of the scare factor, but also because of the teen angst and the tone. The origin story is fun, especially once they discover their powers. And the ending doesn't disappoint in paying homage to classic Japanese monster movies. I would recommend this movie for kids 12 and up. It's great for teens and tweens. Just remember, it is much more serious in tone than the original source material. That's your mom's movie minute. I'm Diane Mizoda, and we'll see you next time. Hello today fans, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking that button down there and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights and digital exclusives.